there's a small sign right over by the tree off to my left your right and that points out a downstream defender unit that's a small proprietary uh, swirl concentrator unit that's designed to remove sediment from uh, from a pipe drainage system so what that does is that receives runoff there's two catch basins in the parking lot another catch basin on this portion of the parking area in front of the building and then another catch basin right at the driveway entrance comes across goes through the downstream defender and discharges into the brook uh, that was a retrofit that was done back in I think 03 and it's a good option those those units are expensive, much more expensive than digging a, uh, you know, an infiltration basin. But in an area where you're doing a retrofit, in an area that's built out, you don't have many options, it's a pretty good option. You basically excavate around, pull out the old manhole, put in the new unit, and you now have taken an untreated discharge and making it, making it a treated discharge, uh, which is one of the new redevelopment standards, or one of the new standards for redevelopment, which is that you cannot have an untreated discharge. So something like that's gonna come up even if you're redoing a parking lot. Um, there is a parking lot drainage right below the infiltration basin where we were. There's a line of catch basin that discharges right into the stream here. If they were to rebuild that parking lot, reconstruct that parking lot, it would trigger the need for them to address that. And they would need to add most likely a proprietary system there because there's no space to do anything else. So we'll finish. Both suspended solids and heavy stuff? It's uh, the downstream defender is a little more limited. It mostly does the suspended solids. There's not a lot of room for real debris. The older Vortechnic units were a lot bigger. They had a lot more room with baffles and everything to catch your Dunkin' Donuts cups and your Gatorade bottles and all that stuff. There's less room in there for this. It will catch some of them, but it's mainly designed to remove suspended solids. These catch basins here actually take some drainage, some unknown drainage from that way, uh, which somewhere underneath that pond, there's a pipe that comes through and you can hear it running over here. And that then routes through and goes through the downstream defender. So that thing is constantly treating a bunch of clean water that is somehow infiltrating into the drainage system. So that's something where in the, the Master Water Handbook, they don't allow you to loop catch basins together. And that's one of the reasons is to keep the main flow away from these hooded catch basins and allow them to do their jobs. Because if you're trying to route your main flow path through them, they're just gonna wash out. It's just gonna take the sediment and clean it out.